from all Greece. Nobody knew that we had a guy here that he could be like an NBA player. And she left in one night like this. I remember we got to New York. It's like, okay, tomorrow is draft night. Please let me just get drafted. That's what I, <laughs> what I get about. Whoever takes me, I'm just gonna work as hard as I can. I'm gonna be a good player and uh, I'm gonna be able to uh, provide for my family. And then the day before the draft, they're like, oh, we're going to the draft and you gotta dress up and then you gotta buy a suit and everything. And I'm like, this is a lot of money. It's 500 something, 600, 1,000. Like, I, we don't have that money, I'm not gonna. And then, you know, I remember we had a company came, they gave us clothing and everything and we finally made it. The Milwaukee Bucks select Giannis Adetokounmpo. From I was sitting there with my brother, it happened. I heard my name. After that, it was a blackout. I don't remember much. The only thing I remember, I was in the stage shaking his hand. You know, I never looked, I was so shy. I just walked down the stairs and I was just shaking. Giannis came to Milwaukee by himself. So a big part of it for us was to help him in that transition, to support him, to teach him how to drive, to help him grocery shop, to make sure he was eating meals at times, sleeping at time, the right times. It was amazing, man. If I can uh, turn the, uh, the time back and just go back and uh, relieve those moments, I learned how to drive with my GM. I learned how to open a bank account by myself. I never had a bank account. I got into an apartment, in an apartment with the help of my agent, but I found the apartment by myself. Like I was 18, doing some adult, adult stuff that I've never, never done before. That, but what stood out to me is that he wasn't nervous about it. Uh, he took it all in, he, he enjoyed it all, he learned every step of the way. He was humble. Just the, the stuff that he's great at now and the things that people love about him as a person, you could see it instantly when we brought him in as a young guy, kind of his first time in America, really. I didn't know nothing. I didn't even know the players. I played for the Milwaukee Bucks. I remember my first workout. I went and worked out with Milwaukee. I had the OJ Mayo, biggest college, high school, NBA players to ever play the game. And they told me, um, okay, Giannis, you're, you're gonna be with OJ. I turned around, I was like, who's, who's OJ? You don't know what he said. He was mad. Who you kidding? Every time, let's say, Giannis goes to play in New York, he has four, five, six, ten thousand. Do you understand? You can go any city you go and play. You have ten thousand Greek people all in Nigeria, oh, people to come and see you play. You have ten thousand people come watch you play from the places you are. It's 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 it's, it's unbelievable. Anywhere you go in the world, that you find somebody that's where from where you are and loves you crazy and and supports you that you've never met that you've never like shaved their hands or you've never done something for them and they support you. So, so you do this for them. You, do, you, you represent them and you show them that love comes unconditionally. You don't need love to give somebody love. You just, you just give them and that's it. Okay, uh, I will record, here we go, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah.